For the best in eyewear, call Dr. Leak's Optometry. Three people have been arrested in connection to a theft of property involving the late Ray Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein passed away on Friday, the result of a plane crash in Oregon. Investigators say the pilot and only occupant of the 1980 Piper Dakota crashed onto a beach near Cape Blanco on the Oregon coast on Friday, January 13th, around noon. Police say Wolfenstein radio air traffic controllers around 11.50 a.m. and said that he was losing sight in one of his eyes and needed to land his plane. The United States Coast Coast Guard helicopter crew found the crashed airplane on the beach near the mouth of the Elk River. Approximately 12 hours prior to the crash, on the very same day Wolfenstein died, the Nye County Sheriff's Office conducted an arrest on three suspects who had recently broke into the home of Ray Wolfenstein. Family members told News 46 that his home here in Pahrump was broken into in September. According to the press release, Kit Ponishill, Jamie Burchamshaw, and Matthew O'Connor were taken into custody after the Nye County Sheriff's Office obtained a search warrant of a residence located at 6 721 Conestoga. The suspects appear to be under the influence of narcotics, according to police. Bertram Shaw told detectives that he had recently used heroin and methamphetamine, according to the report. All three showed signs of being under the influence of narcotics, police say, especially meth. Detectives found two baggies containing a substance weighing 8.8 grams inside the home, believed to be methamphetamine, also a glass pipe with residue and five scales. They also located inside the home a laptop computer, two Ryobi drills, a nail gun, a gold watch, and a stamp collection with the name Raymond J. Wolfenstein stamped on the front cover. The trio was taken into custody the same day that Wolfenstein died in the crash. Pon Shill and O'Connor gave verbal consent to be tested for drugs and came up positive for meth and morphine. Bertram Shaw verbally consented to a blood sample, according to police. They have been charged with possession of methamphetamine, conspiracy to violate the Uniform Controlled Substance Act, trafficking methamphetamine, possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of stolen property. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46.